So I'm going to try to teach another take on the kick foot. I've done other tutorials where I've tried to break it down a little differently. So let's try this new take, okay? This one will be really good for a wooden fixed axle. I really like how it feels on that, but I'm using the Doc Pop Platypus, so this definitely works for any responsive yo-yo if you want to learn the kick foot. Okay, you know how to do the trapeze stall. That should be muscle memory by now. So what you're gonna do is land your trapeze stall. When it hits, lift and rotate, slide that finger just so slightly so you're in this position, all right? Your loop is almost, or is, <laughs> half as long as what you have from your throw hand. And it's close between the knuckle and your nail bed there, but, there's still enough wraps on the axle to be able to regenerate. The length of string that I'm using is, you can't see my feet, but it's about this far off the floor into my belly button. So, hit lift. Now, everything is lined up. It's all one quick motion, all right? Now, your non-throw hand, it, you can pinch it a little bit to help you with that now. See how the yo-yo is all over the place? That's the next point. We need to work both hands kind of together. The non-throw hand and the throw hand, they, they tend to rotate a little bit. Even if you hit foot, you're gonna want to have them working in unison so one side of the yo-yo doesn't start going toward the other. You want a nice clean, as clean as possible. Rotation with the loop, ready to catch it. So putting it together. I definitely think it's cool to be able to just have one finger doing the work on your non-throw hand, but definitely I enjoy, I see the value and enjoyment of pinching it too, to get you that little bit of control. Just trust what your fingers want to do. Okay, and that is my new tutorial for the kickflip.